and welcome back, my watchers. Uh, now we're going to talk about the uh, Sonic Mania Holiday Special. Uh, this is a very brief short. It's only three and a half minutes long, and it's focused on Amy Rose, which I found incredibly amusing at the time because Amy Rose wasn't in Sonic Mania, and a lot of people kind of pointed that fact out. Um, so yeah, it's a very basic thing. It, it, take, it takes place pretty much immediately after the, the main story where uh, Dr. Eggman and, and Metal Sonic come crashing down after getting Team Rocket punched away by, by Knuckles. And, um, and, and Dr. Eggman is pissed and he, he kicks Metal Sonic and, and tantrums himself away. And Metal Sonic, though apparently still functional, stays lying there on the ground unmoving for months. Um, is he depressed? Is he... Is Does he feel bad that Dr. Eggman was so cross with him? Uh, is he as upset that he failed? Well, in the dead of winter, Amy Rose happens by... An, oh, by the way, I love the expressions in this. I mean, like, it's the interaction between a girl and a robot that literally has no mouth. Um, but, but like, her her facial expressions, like, when she first, when she first appears on camera, it's like... Like she like like they just have like the fun like they're subtle but they're also so funny in their subtlety like like and everything here isn't all crazy and over the top it's just it's it's kind of low key I like that so she she's walking along in the snow and she trips on Metal Sonic and um, when when she re when when she reveals him uh, she she digs him up out of the snow and she sees that his eyes move towards her. When she realizes he's still conscious, she immediately takes out her hammer and starts bonking him. Of course, like, like this is just like a little squeaky version of her Pico hammer, I guess. It's tied in... I guess the hammer is tied into her emotion, so it only gets destructive when she's really upset. And mildly startled by a, help, by, by a helpless uh, pile on the ground probably isn't enough to, to pull up the big, gigantic ban hammer. Um, so after hitting him a few times, she realizes that he's, that he's no threat. And, um, but the tree that was weakened when, when he and Eggman hit it earlier starts to fall the rest of the way, so she pushes him out of the way. Um, so she sees that Metal Sonic, despite being still functional, just seems to be refusing to move. So she, she takes it upon herself to drag him all the way back to Dr. Eggman's base, where she leaves him at the door, puts a bow on his head, and puts a flower in his hand. Then she rings the doorbell and hides behind a rock to see what happens. Eggman opens the door, sees Metal Sonic standing there with the flower in his hand, he takes the flower, and then carries him inside. And then Amy from behind the rock is happy that he's reunited, and Sonic just comes out of there with this face that looks like... Like, like, he like... Um, frankly, it reminds me of something that I would see from Ren. You know, like, from Ren and Stimpy, like... Like that thing with like the upper lip just kind of curls over, looking slightly beak-like. That's that's such a Ren expression. It's like it's like Sonic is completely gobsmacked at why Amy would care about the happiness of those two. Because like you know, Doctor Eggman has tried to kill them on several occasions, and uh, Metal Sonic kidnapped her. <laughs> so like you know, she has every reason to hate those guys. But you know. Amy is a very kind-hearted person, so of course she wants to she wants to see that that other people are happy. Um, so she gives Sonic a flower and she goes off, which is a far cry from her depiction in the early 2000s. I'll tell you what, like if this short was made in 2003, then Amy would have like been clamped onto Sonic for dear life, not wanting to let him go. Um, but yeah, this was the Christmas special and. It was very sweet. It's like, like I said, it was low key, and um, there's no spoken dialogue, and it just shows that the, the what these characters do like between adventures. Um, and I think a little bit of the IDW comic sneaks in here, cause like, um, if you recall, like um, in the IDW comic when they were re re turning Mr. Tinker back into Dr. Eggman, the trigger that made him turn into Eggman again was seeing Metal Sonic. And we see a, a montage over all the times that he has engineered, upgraded, and repaired Metal Sonic, and um, and and like he considered Metal Sonic is very much Eggman's masterpiece. Sometimes they have what looks to be a father-son relationship. It's like um, 
uh, Sonic Heroes was was uh, Metal Sonic's Teen Rebellion phase and all that kinds of stuff. So you know, like it, like for for like uh, this is the holiday special, so it's all about family and togetherness. And the final frame is of Metal of Metal Sonic and Eggman. Eggman's passed out on the sofa with using using Metal Sonic as a stool, but. Who knows? Uh, for all we know, Metal Sonic is just happy to be useful again. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, this is very cute. It's a, it's just a sweet little Christmas special that came out. Um, and yes, at the end there was an advertisement to buy Sonic, the the deluxe edition of Sonic Mania with the art book and all that stuff. But you know, like. Um, it's nice that they that this is a full-on original animation, and it even featured some stuff that wasn't in the game, namely Amy Rose. So yes, again, these are freely available on the Sonic the Hedgehog YouTube channel. You can watch them whenever you want, and I think it's well worth it. Um, so after they finished the Sonic Mania animations, they did make another one to tie into the release of Team Sonic Racing, called Team Sonic Racing Overdrive. So the next vlog is going to be about that.